We did have the doubles earlier today. And I guess, well, the big news is Tony Eggert and Sasha Benekin didn't win. They uh, took silver, but uh, if you're German, never fear. It was yet still a very technical driver's track. You need the whole package to win here. You need the power start, too, as uh, Hannah Prock takes to the hill. For that, though, which is a nice flat line around the Kreisel. Uh, so plenty of room for improvement there for his slider. Victoria Demchenko, so uh, we shall be seeing uh, another legend in a second or two that hour. Over uh, a couple of hours is what gets measured. Bogan Platzer, uh, four of seven races, you're always going to be right down the bottom. Though she did have a fifth place in Winterberg. So there you go. She's definitely a contender, so we've seen a good contender's time. Now we're going to see a... Uh, Sandra Robacher of Italy. Next pilot down the hill. Well, so far, we've had just one crasher, though. Uh, Demchenko no, we've still got some really exciting sliders to come. Uh, junior Olympic champion here in uh, Mariam Kasslinger. The start will not be the exciting bit, but uh, <laughs> cue the American music. Here we go. A bit of Bruce Springsteen. This will be followed by Aaron Hamlin. And uh, Summer Britcher still to come. Three American women all up inside the world's top 12 at the moment. Experience. She could be uh, a threat to the Germans if, if anyone is. World champion of 2009. Just a little joke, but yes, she has been very dominant this season, taking some uh, four golds out of seven and medaled at the rest. So, Summer Britcher. Side down, started the season Starting to get that way, thanks to the G-Force. Big breath in. Top of the track, USA's Emily Sweeney. Only ranks seven. Mooty in the crowd watching on. A lot of expectation on her shoulders. The very one, Natalie Geisenberger, last slider down the hill. Overall World Cup leader by some margin as well. Almost 100 points over Hoofner, who isn't here. So, uh, even if Geisenberger were to uh, crash now and finish last and gain, uh, well, no points, she would uh, still be in the lead no matter what happened. No one can catch her. But she could also gain another 100 points for the victory. Next out of the gate, Aaron Hamlin of the USA. On we go. Julia Tarbitz of uh, Germany. She's a talent, Tarbitz, we know that actually. Emily Sweeney of the USA, Madeline Egel, the youngster, the teenager from Austria who's done so well today. Natalie Geisenberger, the World Cup leader, looking to finish off the championship in style. Eichberger pushed into third. Our leader is Natalie Geisenberger. Can Tatiana Ivanova do anything about that? Super slide in the first run to stay ahead of Geisenberger. Enrong Song will be doing the first part. <laughs> Leading off this uh, Korean team that has shown a lot of promise this season, that's for sure. And uh, with the Olympic, Olympic Games, uh, Teresa Nuskova, who will be kicking it off for the Czech team, Andre Hyman. We'll be doing the men's second leg, and then the Bros brothers will be finishing it off. Little team final event. moment for how much longer? Well, it's the poll's turn now. Wojtyszyn is doing the leg 
for uh, the women's bit at the start. Then uh, she will hand over. Master and Britcher, not exactly great slides earlier today. Summer Britcher of the USA, top of the track here in Calgary. Preparing to come down. Preparing to take on Alex Goff. Hands over to Sam Edney. The first two legs, undoubtedly brilliant. But then Walker and Smith. Will they you be see able Calgary, to... the city, uh, sitting out in front of you. It's a lovely place uh, to slide. It really is one of the points of the track. And there's uh, monitors all around. Coach Hoover there. Two or perhaps a little bit of oversteering somewhere in the middle section for uh, Geisenberger. So there's room for improvement there. Surprised she's even taking time to stand in the leader's enclosure because she's not going to last very long there, I'm afraid. Natalie Marg next, who has, well, there you go, nearly three seconds advantage over Ivanova. Your icons within uh, international sport, you need those athletes that the youngsters look up to, athletes that are inspired to get involved because to uh, cheer about. Who they're watching. She's getting that crowd nicely warmed up. Welcome back to Lake Placid. Eitberger leads for Germany. But plenty of great sliders to come that could uh, certainly change the course of this particular World a Cup race. A little bit here. of a frustrating hold here because Tatiana Hufner would have been going through her prep. The reigning world champion would have been ready to go. Okay. Now, at 34 years of age, yes, you would expect her to be able to cope pretty comfortably with these delays, but she's only got nine thousandths of a second to play with in terms of her first run advantage oh, over and over to the finish area. And congratulate McRae. Definite opportunities here today for somebody to find a result. Aaron Hamlin next out. Great first run for the woman that lives here in Lake Placid. Grew up in a very small village not far away from Lake Placid, although Lake Placid itself isn't uh, massive. A little place called uh, Remsen, went to the high school there. Great Got to see. Uh, I don't think Eitberger was too impressed. She's going to vacate the podium. Okay. Geisenberger then. Last adjustments to the helmet as the six foot tall. 77 kilo well, German. Could be heading okay. for another terrific finish here in Sigulda. The team relay with two teams left to go. Austria next out of the gate. And the youngster who's really come to maturity and come to some great form this season. Was very good in the women's race, Madeleine Egel. She goes out. Here we go then. A little bit of pressure on this German setup. Natalie Geisenberger, Felix Locke, Egger and Benneken. And under any circumstances, you would say that's the team to beat on any given weekend in a team relay. But Russia have laid down a hell of a marker and they've won everything else so far. Geisenberger first off. And that's the most pressure I've seen on Natalie Geisenberger's face for a while. She knows this 